So for my personal hairstyle, what I like to do right in the beginning is make sure that my hair is wet. I personally like to towel dry my hair till it's about 30 to 40 percent dry first. Then after I do that, the first product I put in my hair is Hans DeFuco Sponge Wax. I really like to put this product in my hair before I blow dry it, mainly because it's an organic product. It's healthy for your hair and it just has a really kind of creamy texture and I just I like the way it feels in my hair once it's blow dry. So I apply just a smidgen, just a little bit in my hair and then after that I apply my heat protection mousse which also gives it lots of volume. It's a great product so be sure to check that out. After the mousse is in my hair I then blow dry it using a blow dryer on the heat setting. The reason why I use these is because like I said before, um, in whatever direction you are blow drying your hair in, it's going to lock it in place in that direction once it's dry. So for me, my hair goes kind of back to the left. I've kind of trained it that way just by blow drying so much. So um, that's exactly what I did. What I did, I blow dried it up and back to the left side. That way. Another little thing I do is while I'm blow drying my hair back, um, I like to take my hair and kind of push it a little forward. So that way it kind of creates a little lift in the front. And then once I blow dry that using the heat setting, it's going to stay like that. It's going to stay kind of up in the front. Once my hair is done and being blow dried and it's going all in the direction I want it to go in, it's going to look pretty much done from right here. And then I'm just going to apply my wax, which I personally like to use Silver Fox Bible Lane. I think it has like the best hold. And um, I, I really like that dry look, like there's no product in your hair. I really like to make sure that I get the wax in the roots of my hair. So um, now that my hair is going back after I blow dry it, I take the wax in my hands, I try to get it on my fingertips so I can get in there. I like to start from the back, and then, since my hair's going back, I like to go forward with it. And then as I'm going forward with it, then I finally get the front and I just go straight back with it. So it's all up in there, all up in my hair. And then I apply just a little bit of hairspray just to lock it in, and then boom. You got the best hairstyle in the world, baby. And there it is, you guys. It's pretty simple. That's exactly how I do my hair every day um, since I've had this hairstyle. And I'm sure I'm going to change it up in the near future. So I'll be sure to come out with another video with you guys to show you how I do that hairstyle. Whoa. And if you guys want to know what to ask your barber specifically for this hairstyle, I ask for an undercut only on the sides. Um, and I asked for a fade from a size 1 to a size 4. In the back, I didn't want an undercut. I wanted it to blend right into the back. And um, I also made sure that I got a taper only on the back. In the top, I left long. Um, the very front is about 6 inches long. And it kind of gets shorter and shorter as, the, as it goes back. The back is about three and a half, four inches long. So thank you all so much for watching. Before I go, you guys knew it. I'm going to hit you guys with some inspiration. Today I want to talk to you guys about edifying others. To edify means to lift up, to improve one another and empower one another. And I believe as humans, we should be practicing this every single day. You see, people want to feel valued. They want to be seen as a person with great value. And like it says in this book called Ephesians, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. You see, it's one thing to see somebody as they are, it's another thing to edify them and to see them as what they could be. To see the purpose in them and to tell them what they could achieve and to encourage them to become those things. So edify people, you guys. You can do this by loving people, encouraging them, making them feel loved, and making them feel valued. I hope that spoke to you guys today. Um, thank you all so much again for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to stay tuned for some more awesome videos. I'm going to be on Slick Hair TV every single Monday. Also, be sure to check out I am Dave Vo and yours truly on Google Hangouts. Right here on this channel, we'll be live 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, September 6th. It's going to be dope. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a great time communicating with you guys. You guys can ask questions. And it's going to be off the chain, so be sure to check it out. And also, be sure to check out my ebook, His Hairstyle Handbook. It's on my website right now for five bucks. And I'm also coming out with the audio version for those of you guys who don't like to read. And also, I got a new ebook called Chivalry is Alive. It is so, I just put myself in the eye. It's so fresh. It's coming out um, next month, so be sure to check that out. Stay on the lookout at drinkjacksler.com. I'm going to have that as an ebook and audiobook. It's going to be on iBooks and the iTunes Apple Store, or whatever it's called, whatever. So I'm super excited for you guys to see that. So be sure to stay on the lookout, DreDrexler.com, yo. So this is Dre Drexler, and I will see you guys next time. Peace, y'all. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot.